Yo guys, how's it going? My name is Boost and welcome to my 5k grand collection tour today. We are not going to be taking a look at this. This will be for the second part. Yes, I'm going to be doing this in two parts, which is sort of unusual, but oh well, there's a lot of color. You understand when you see the second and first part, which we're going to be doing today. So we're going to be covering all of this, all of this that goes down here, goes down and down and down. Got some stuff up here as well, and over here, there might be some stuff here and there and there, and this. So, yeah, as you can tell, we've got quite a lot to go through, so without further ado, let us get started. So before we get onto the main course, which is obviously this massive wall here, I think we should start off simple and move on to this first wall here. Now this is the sort of special carded, not mainline, but you know, the special stuff that, like the 2016, 2017 car culture we've got here. I've only got these car culture sets so far. These weren't really available in Australia that often. So I have this original truck set, the Modern Classics and Race Day. Those are the only original car culture sets I have complete. And also we have some stuff over there that I'm going to get into later as well. So we have the Retro Nostalgia set, I don't have this set complete but I didn't really want to, there's not too many cars I'm a fan of. The Gran Turismo set, obviously we don't have every car from the set but I picked out some that I liked. A few different Fast and Furious cars from various years. And the 2018 Decades mix, obviously once again not complete but I did get some cars I am quite fond of. And moving down we also have this new rally set, I know it's not displayed properly. I've only found this once in stores and I didn't find the cars I was really after being the not the Mini Cooper, I've already found that, it's right there. But I haven't found the Volkswagen Scirocco or the... What else have I, haven't I found? I haven't found the Scirocco or the Atlanta Evolution, hoping to find that soon. And when it, it, I do find those two, it'll be going right up there. And also, let me move my wallet, this is a bit... And... Is this a Woolies gift card? Okay, yes, let's just... Okay, and on this other side of the wall, here we have some random bits and bobs that are just random pieces of my collection, really. Some real rider stuff and some other, not random, they're semi-organized, just random car sets. So first we have some air-cooled cars, not a complete set. We have a Larry's Garage Mercury Cyclone, no idea where I found that, it's quite a while ago now. Some Hot Wheels Hot Ones models, obviously not the original, these are some reproduction models. Very, very nice T3 Sunagon there, and the Pontiac Fiero. Hot Wheels Boulevard, two of the cheaper models that are easier to get your hands on, but still very cool nonetheless. Moving up, we have a few cars from the Lamborghini set. D didn't really like this set too much, but I think I got these two as a birthday gift, so I said, why not? May as well keep them in box and have them on display. Moving up, we have this beautiful piece, the Nissan Skyline HC 2000 GTX, aka the Harkoska Skyline in the Road Tripping series. Got a few road tripping cars, but I'm pretty sure this one I might have to open soon because it is peeling off the blister very, very badly there. You can only just see. Yeah, this is probably going to get opened one day. From the racing set, here we have the, what is this, 92 Mustang, I believe. Ford pickup, the Porsche 959, aka the Igor, which is from a very old Hot Wheels tattoo set. Dark Knight Lamborghini Merce Lago, as well as a few bits and bobs up here. And this beautiful Skyline R32, very, very nice. Now this is the first wall cover we can see. There's quite a bit here, but if we do have a look down here, we have quite a bit of random stuff. I have, what have I got down here? Bike lock. This is actually very cool. My Game Boy Color, I actually bought this quite recently. Very cool if you're into gaming like me. Moving down, we also have a Hot Wheels Mystery Models box. If you're into that sort of thing, I found it at the supermarket, so I took it home with me. And here's some interesting stuff down here. Let me pull it into good lighting. We have a bunch of random cars that I haven't been able to sort through or display because they've been sat. They have no place to sit in my collection because they're so like out there and different that I can't really categorize them in their own separate things because there's really nowhere to put them. So there's quite a few things like that over here, including this matchbox and <laughs> for some reason some Hot Wheels temporary tattoos if that's what you're into. And of course we have some spray paint back there, which is obviously not for graffitiing, that is for customizing my Hot Wheels cars, which is also why I have all of my different wheels sorted down here as well. I really need to get some more wheel donors because my wheels, well my wheel supply is looking very, very short. And I almost forgot I had this, we're going to be covering this in the next part 2 collection video. Here is say, as you can tell, a bunch of loose stuff. This whole thing is full, so 
We'll put that back. Stick around for part two if you want to have a look at that. So now moving up and above the door, we can see we have some short carded stuff here. Obviously, as you can tell, it's all in protectors. I don't know why I put them in protectors. I just felt like I needed to for whatever reason. Skyline R33 in the really nice purple. The cool combi treasure hunt. We have a few treasure hunts up here. Some very, very nice looking ones. And this one here, not a treasure hunt, but oh my goodness, the Skyline R34. Very, very nice. Sirocco GT and this really cool Ford Mustang. Fairly sure it has the opening hood, but I can't really tell from here. I'm not that tall. Okay, now that we have all this covered, let us have a look at what I call the main course, which is this insane Hot Wheels wall that I've been working on. If you've seen my past, I think I've done three of these collection videos now, you will know that this, whatever this is, is different. I got this from Bunnings Warehouse. If you want to look up how to display your Hot Wheels, please do it right now. It should be the first video you find. Some sort of uh, roof sort of clipping stuff. It works perfectly. Way better than my other method of sticking holes in the wall. Not the smartest of ideas, I'll let you know that now. But let us not start on that side. We'll move over to the right and let's have a look. So on the very right corner here we can see all of the really beautiful stuff in the protectors. Let's start at the bottom. Here we have two Supers here that is the exact same. I'm pretty sure this is the, what is this, the Chevy C10, I'm fairly sure. Both of these I got from the reject shop for, of course, retail price. Very happy to find Supers on my own instead of having to buy them off eBay. It's not the best on my wallet, honestly. Two more. I didn't find this one, I bought this one from, well, I didn't buy it in a trade, but I got it in a trade for I think the cargo carrier set when that was first out. This one I found and saw the beautiful Batmobile, but this 2005 Ford Mustang I also traded for. We have the Bone Shaker Ultimate Super Treasure Hunt, and the Redliners Gasser. I have another one of these somewhere in a box away. A very, very, very nice Buick Riviera Super. I did pay aftermarket price for this, but it is such a nice car, I couldn't not. And this is not a Super, but this is a regular treasure hunt, the Ferrari Testarossa, which somehow, actually I'm pretty sure, I'm fairly sure I know why. Look at that Ferrari uh, logo right there. This is the reason why it just fetches such a high price, because it is a Ferrari. No surprise there, honestly. Moving upwards, we have some regular treasure hunts as well, that are very, very nice additions to my collection. This is one of my favourites I have. Um, I've completely forgotten what it's called because I haven't looked at it in a while. What's, what is it? The Dodge Challenger Funny Car. Yes, a very, very nice one. Next to the Enzo Ferrari. And moving up, here we have some of my more expensive mainline stuff. Here we have the 2009 Nissan GTR R35, which is beautiful, beautiful. I love it so much. Of course, got it in that handy dandy protector. As well as on the left, we have the Skyline R34. And moving up, I know none of you have seen this before, I've never ever showed this on my channel, so this might be a surprise to a majority of you. I've only ever showed it on my Instagram, and if you want to follow, then you ready for this? Whew. Follow it at BoostYT if you want to. I post a bunch of random stuff on there, but moving up, what do we have? Wowie, yes, I actually do own one of these beautiful pieces, the Bugatti Veyron. I know it's a bit crazy, and the craziest part is I got this for, I pretty sure two dollars which is the just craziest part of it all and of course on the right we have a Skyline R32 so I think the only Skyline I need now is R33 then I'll be pretty much complete now I've already been going on for 10 minutes so I might want to speed things up a bit here we have the Matchbox wall which I'm still trying to expand but Mattel hasn't been releasing too many nice cars lately so I haven't picked too much up you can see some new 2019 stuff up there though a bunch of different stuff and you might notice a few of the same skylines they are different variations in color and also interior I'm fairly sure there was a variation of that one year and I decided to pick up as many as I could and we have Matchbox going up here as well Mini, Volvo, Volkswagens and it keeps going up then we have some special edition Matchbox stuff as well which I like very nice and have I got two of the same car? Okay, yes I do. Okay, here is one of my favorite displays of my entire Hot Wheels collection room. This is the main, well not the main, but the, I don't know, the alternative main wall. Because it is a bunch of older stuff and I love collecting the older stuff. Mainly because it just looks 
a lot better than the newer stuff and plus it's very hard to get your hands on especially where I live in Australia not too many people are selling them and when they are selling them they are for stupid prices so let us get started from the bottom I'm to be showing these I reckon free at once because if I do them individually it will just get nowhere very very slowly actually but I do want to focus on this one the Saline S7 very very cool model and if also you're a long time fan, you might recognize some of these from my older haul videos when I used to get insane luck finding stuff online for stupidly cheap. Including this one here. This was, I think, a dollar. That's an Australian currency, by the way. So if you want to, what is it, translate that currency, then feel free to do so. You might find yourself a very, very surprised. And starting at the bottom here in the corner, in the very, very dark corner, we have some stuff that I don't care about as much, including these two. I think these are just filler cars until I find some stuff I really want to display. Moving up though, that 67 Camaro. I like though, that's very cool. But all around some just very cool stuff. I haven't looked at my collection properly in a good month or so, so all of this is sort of like I don't know, giving me, not nostalgia, but remembering what I've owned, because I haven't looked at it for so long. I know I do live in this house, but I go in this room every single day of my life, pretty much, but it's been a while since I've actually taken the time to look at all this stuff individually, so yeah, it's actually pretty cool realizing what I've actually got. And now moving on to the main wall, which is actually the wall that I've added to the least this year. Surprising, I know I haven't been hunting out as much as I have with previous years. It's a very sad thing to hear, but it is true. So we'll start, I have these categorized into different sections. So from here onwards, we have US American muscle from, where is it? Here to here, we have the Euro stuff and very sad and empty. These four columns here make up the Japanese stuff. I know, this. as much as I like to complain about Hot Wheels releasing JDM stuff too often, it's very surprising to see that most of my cars are from the US. But anyways, let's get started. I'm probably going to be putting music over this as I do normally because there's just too much to have a look at and I reckon my voice will probably get very annoying by the time we're finished looking through all this, so I'll see you when I'm done. Okay, that didn't actually take as long as I thought it would, but still, hopefully it gives you an idea as to the scale of my collection. This is around five years of collecting, or four and a half, I'd say. And of course, I'm only 16, so I don't have an unlimited wallet. If I did, though, this would be covering the entire room. There will be no room for these loose cars, which you'll see in the next half, of course. But, of course, the last thing I'm going to show you, apart from... We've got these very lovely pieces here, and also... A long gone, what is this, a mail-in that I managed to get for, I think, $20, which is a bargain. We have just some green light die casts along here. Very, very nice Volkswagen Squareback, one of my favourite cars. I really want to own one one day, and that's a one-to-one -one scale, by the way, that I want to own. Volkswagen T2 Bus, Black Bandit, the Datsun 240Z. A green machine, this is the only green machine I own, sadly, except they're not really too cool. Especially when it's it's just a different color really and if, if it's on a model I'm not really interested in either I'm 
I don't know, it's not really something I'm crazily into, especially how we can't get them in Australia as much because the only store that used to sell these is Toys R Us and we all know what happened to that. Not a not a happy story for that. Alright guys, well if you did enjoy this video, be sure to Why okay, hold on, hold on. I almost forgot the most important thing. Well not not the most important, but one of the most important things. It's up there with the most important things in my room, but we also have what I like to call the premium section. It's between premium, car culture, retro, entertainment. It's got all the sorts of stuff. So I'm still trying to complete my 50th favorite set. All I need is that gasser, which will fill that spot right there. I've got the team transport stuff too. But I haven't gotten much of it because it's only hit Australia once and that's all. Only one assortment case has been hit. Of course, we have Japan Historics 2, cargo carriers, Euro Speed. Shop trucks, and of course, I haven't found the track set yet. I've completely forgotten what it's called, but that never hit Australia. But I have got the Drag Strip Demon set, which does look very nice. I'm pretty sure two of these cars do have cracked blisters, though, which isn't too good. I got my retro entertainment cars running up the left side as well. I got some pretty cool stuff, including the Sylvia S15 right there. Moving up, we got some Forza stuff, and moving to the right, this is. 100% going to be the last part of the video. Here we have my pop culture stuff. Most of it is pretty old, honestly. I haven't found any new pop culture stuff that's interested me as much as this older stuff, but we have some pretty cool pieces on the left, including one of my most recent finds, this Volkswagen Fastback. I almost said Squareback. Wow, that would have been a sin as a Volkswagen lover. Moving down as well, we have the Custom Station Wagon. Vol I don't like this one at all, though. Wheel arches and the open wheel is just really weird to me. T1 bus, square back, drag bus. Well, that's a drag truck, not a drag bus. And we have that really weird open wheel Volkswagen again. And of course we have a few T1s down here as well. So, so let me get back to where I started. Or not to where I started, but let's just continue with the outro. Alright guys, well if you did enjoy this video, be sure to please, of course, give it a massive thumbs up. It would mean the world if you could do that. And of course, comment below, there's a lot to choose from. Comment your favourite car from this stupidly big lot. I know, I've been collecting quite a long time now, so I thought I may as well show you all what I've sort of hoarded over the years. And of course, I did hold a 5,000 subscriber vote, and this seemed to be what you all wanted to see. So, of course, anyway, guys, if you did enjoy, leave a fat thumbs up. Comment below, what is your favorite car from this massive collection? And, of course, I'll catch you in part two, which will be showing all this, and, of course, more than this, or more than this wall, but a massive box of just random loose stuff. So, of course, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.